Hi, and welcome to www.10stepstomoney.com. Today's topic, start a business with lousy credit? You may be trying to start a business or have one that's in its initial stages. Your idea is great, your plan is flawless, and your product or service is ready for the fast lane. Only problem is, that supercharged, can't-miss small business of yours is sitting by the side of the road. It's stuck, and it's out of gas. The analogy may not be great, but if you're in that type of situation, you know what it's all about. Your personal credit rating is less than stellar. You found out just how bad when the bank's business loan officer gave you a look of horror when you told him what you wanted to borrow and why. Let's face it, he probably couldn't wait to get you out of the office fast enough. Is there anything you can do to jumpstart this situation? Yes, there is. In fact, there's a number of avenues you need to explore. First things first, there are three credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. You want to get your Tri-Merge Credit Report, which is a report from all three credit bureaus. Once you get them in hand, you'll have a clear idea of exactly where you stand and, just as importantly, why. Review each and every report. Look for errors, because guess what? The credit bureaus do make them. Maybe a bill they're reporting is unpaid involved a dispute. Maybe a credit card purchase wasn't yours. If you find any glitches, report them immediately to the credit bureau involved. You can also enlist the services of an established credit repair company if you're not sure how to handle the disputes yourself. Creating a business credit profile can also be an answer to your credit issue. By creating a business credit profile, you can start establishing credit for your business, which is separate than your personal FICO score. Establishing a business credit profile can help you get your business started while working to improve your personal FICO score. Once you establish your business credit profile, your business can start applying for business credit cards and other types of business financing. But when you get business credit cards, keep your personal and business credit separate, very separate. Many folks fall prey to the temptation of using business credit cards for personal expenses. This is more than a red flag to business lenders. It's a giant red balloon. Commingling your funds can cause many problems for your accountant and attorney. When you commingle your personal and business funds, you open the door to lawsuits and your bookkeeping becomes a nightmare. Business credit cards can be a great source of financing. One misconception is that business credit cards have a high interest rate. This just isn't true. Many business credit cards fall in the interest rate range of 8 to 14 percent. But more importantly, remember this. It's not always the cost of money that's important, but the availability of money. Wouldn't you like to have an extra thirty, fifty, or even $100,000 right now to start or expand your business? Make sure you are diligent about making payments on time, and two things will happen. First, the credit card company will court your business and probably offer you a credit line increase. Second, your credit standing will improve with the bank. Banks love it when you've demonstrated the ability to pay off a loan, even if it's not theirs. Finally, make certain that you use your credit wisely and strictly for the business, and more importantly, to improve the business, new equipment or hiring employees, marketing, whatever it takes. This will show a loan officer that you're serious about what you're doing, and it will make you a more attractive loan candidate. Pat Gage, the opportunity creator and a leading expert in the field of business credit, has helped a number of clients target his specialty, starting, expanding, and growing their businesses through his trademark 10 Steps to Money system. The Opportunity Creator is not only a sought-after business credit coach, but also a national speaker. For more information on any topic discussed, visit Gage's site at www.10stepstomoney.com.